I was expecting like boom dewy, you know? And I didn't get that with this. Hi everybody, I was about to go to bed. I'm actually really tired right now, but I got home and I saw I had a package with a couple products that I needed to do this reaction video and uh, it got me excited so I decided I'm gonna do this. I am going to react to Hailey Bieber's nighttime skincare routine, her go to bed with me on Harper's Bazaar. It also means I'm gonna give you some of my thoughts on road skincare. A reminder before I get started that skincare reaction videos are meant to be fun, they're meant to be entertaining, and they're meant to be educational. The way we have these conversations, I feel like really helps people understand skincare. Tonight I'm gonna be following Hailey's actual skincare routine. That's why I was waiting for all of these products to arrive. So I'm excited to you know, give you my thoughts, actually try the products on for the first time. A couple of these are actually first impressions for me, so not real reviews of these products. And then obviously giving you notes about her routine. So let's get started. Hey, it's Hailey Bieber, and I am going to be taking you guys through my nighttime routine. So come get ready to go to bed with me. First thought, Hailey is so cute. She really is. You can't deny it. She is so cute. I mean, she's like sexy too, but she's like so cute too. There's something about her that's like, oh, you are so cute. Okay, so first things first, I'm just gonna tie my hair back. Me too. I can't stand when I go to wash my face and my hair keeps like <laughs> falling in the sink. I have some makeup on. I just finished a long day of some press and some work stuff. First thing I always like to do when I have any makeup or SPF on, which I have SPF on every single day, is go in with an oil cleanser. This is the One Love Organics B Botanical Enzyme Cleansing Oil. This is definitely my favorite oil cleanser. I have repurchased this many, many times. I love it so much. So two pumps of that, rub that in my hands, warm it up. My eyes get that mascara off. It's super gentle on your eyes. I've, I've definitely used things that when I rubbed it into my eyes, it, it was stinging. See how all that mascara comes off. I started oil cleansing at the beginning of the pandemic and I have never looked back. It has changed my skin so much and has been so good for breaking down makeup and sunscreen. Get my neck too. I'm gonna rinse that off really quick. Okay, so One Love Organics Botanical Bee Enzyme Cleansing Oil. This is a pretty straightforward cleansing oil. It has oils like sunflower seed oil, which I actually really like in cleansing oils because it's high in linoleic acid, and that means that it's gonna be really great for all skin types. Even people who are acne prone, I always say to you know look for oils like this because sometimes it's just gonna replenish your skin, and that's what your skin needs. And that might even be why it's getting irritated or why you're getting redness or why you're getting acne. You know, it's so weird and it's all personal, so you just gotta give it a try. But what I like about it the most is that it is an oil that most skin types can use. So if you're a person who's afraid of using a first cleanse that is oil-based, you might wanna give it a try. It says enzyme cleansing oil, so it's gonna give you that really gentle exfoliation while it's also working. She says that she likes to use two pumps. Okay, so here we go. I was testing out an eyeliner and mascara, waterproof mascara. Let's see how it does. Hmm, it smells like candy. Oh. <laughs> it smells like Dole Whip. That's what it smells like. It's got a pineapple and citrus aroma, apparently, and it smells like Dole Whip. Okay, so let's see if it gets the waterproof mascara off. Uh-oh. It does not bother my eyes, which it really shouldn't, because this is really just oils and enzymes. This mascara does not want to budge. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Okay, now it's starting to break it down. All right, so two pumps on the waterproof mascara. We're exactly doing it, but three pumps when you get it like really, really covered. And that did it. Let's see if it emulsifies. Oh. oh yeah, it does. Okay, this is where I'm at. I don't necessarily judge a first cleanse because it didn't like truly, truly remove my mascara because sometimes you just need it to break it down if you're gonna go in with the second cleanse. But that was really hard to rinse. I had a hard time rinsing it. <laughs> Look, it's like even like kind of stuck there. I wanted to see what she does really quick because of the next cleanser. <laughs> this, is, this looks really funny. I just wanna see what she does really quick. So let me I'm just I'm gonna see. pat 
Okay, so she's gonna pat the water down just a teeny bit because I'm bit. also gonna go in with my second step of cleansing. This is the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. This is like a milky, creamy cleanser. I really like creamier, milky cleansers. I have really dry, sensitive skin, so I like anything that feels hydrating and nourishing, and I'm a big believer in double cleansing. So, second cleanser or second step. Feels so nice and hydrating, which I love. This one's good too because it also acts as a makeup remover, so if there's anything left on the eyes, I can go back over it. Be right back. Oh, you know what? It has been a while since I used this cleanser, and I'm so surprised because it feels like they reformulated it slightly because it used to be this like really thick gel almost. It was still creamy. What people don't realize is that this is actually kind of like a, almost like a first cleanse kind of. You know, she did say it, it works as a makeup remover. It does, but it's a de-phase gel. A de-phase gel. Meaning that it's a high mixture of oil with a humectant. So the more you work it, which a lot of people don't actually realize about this cleanser, the more that it actually turns into an oil consistency. So you can see, I finally worked it into the oil consistency. I actually really like this cleanser a lot. It's one of my favorite of the ordinary products that they make, but I think that a lot of people don't realize that this is really an oil cleanser and you have to work it for a long time. You have to work it really hard to get to that oil. I'm trying to work it harder than I probably would because I have <laughs> that waterproof mascara on and I just want to take it off. I think something to point out for people is, you know, she made a good point and said that her skin is dry. She's technically using two oil cleansers in a row. There's no problem with that, especially since this one is a little bit lighter. It's squalane, which is not a really rich emollient. Whew, my eyes are starting to get really annoyed. This is why I don't like wearing waterproof mascara. It's so much work. Anyway, I'm gonna go rinse this off too, and we'll talk a little bit more. I was like slightly panicked that my eye makeup, my mascara was not going to come off, but it did because my eyes were starting to feel a little irritated from all that rubbing. But I guess what I was trying to say is, one thing to keep in mind is she's using technically two oil cleansers. So if you're a person that's like, they don't have dry skin necessarily, I would say, just keep that in mind. This is two oil cleansers. You're gonna feel like you've got a decent amount of oil going onto your skin. All right, let's continue watching. I hope she gets into the next step fast because I'm gonna have to do it with her. I still like to leave it a teeny bit damp because I That's absolutely dry. love applying products onto damp skin. Um, so next I'm gonna go in with this Environ Moisturizing Toner. I really, really love this toner. It keeps my skin glowy and soft and very hydrated. So I like to just put it on my hand. Maybe that's not the proper way to apply a toner, but that's the best way that works for me. So I'm going to just apply it, press it into the skin, press it into my neck, press it into my chest. You guys are gonna die about with the product that I'm about to use because it's not the Environ product. You cannot get that product. Apparently she's like sold it out. It was hard to find information on like the ingredient list, what it does, besides it being like a toner, right? So finally I found a page that had the ingredient list. It looks like it's got like niacinamide. It has your typical like hydrating ingredients. You know, it's liquidy. It has lactic acid in it. So it gives a little bit of exfoliation, probably a little bit more hydration, just really brightens your skin probably. So what I found in my beauty closet that felt similar-ish without being the same exact product, but similar in, in, in ingredient list, was this Skin by Kim. This is the toner. This is the AHA Plus Gentle Exfoliation Toner. I haven't used this since I did my reaction video. My gosh, I hate this packaging, by the way, guys. Look at that. Like, ah! How do I get back? How do I get this back in? Okay. <sighs> okay, so it's a turn. It's a turn. I'm gonna show you. This is kind of like a, same thing, like a liquidy but plush toner. And when you put it on your skin, it's going to hydrate, it will brighten your skin, and it will exfoliate your skin. So it does have glycolic acid in it, which makes it probably a little bit stronger and more tingly than the one that you know she's using from Environ. It's a very similar concept. I cannot tell you if it's the same product, like similar in the way that it works and all that kind of stuff, but concept-wise, ingredient list wise, similar in what it's doing. I actually 
like it. <laughs> I'm gonna put another layer of this. It feels like an essence and all she's doing is applying it like an essence, which of course is fine. Toners and essences really are not that different. It's just a different name. So there you go. Mmm, my skin feels better. I needed that. Let's see what she does next. Put over that the Rode Peptide Glazing Fluid. I love applying this over my toner when the toner is still a little bit damp as well. I just feel like it helps the product absorb so nicely. I actually didn't put enough, I'm gonna put two more pumps. I like to go a little harder on the hydration at night because that's the time where I really feel like my skin is resetting and rejuvenating. Road is my brand, my skincare brand, which is so exciting and amazing that I am able to finally share it with everybody and show you guys how I incorporate it into my routine. I absolutely love this peptide glazing fluid. You can see it leaves such a dewy, glowy um, look on the skin and has peptides and marula oil and hyaluronic acid. So it has all these really beautiful, amazing ingredients that are great for hydration. And for me, hydration is always the focus um, at night. All right, so that's, that's what that looks like. And obviously it's very shiny, but it's because it's a serum. And when you apply serums, they're obviously very shiny. I do like the feel of this. They call it a peptide glazing fluid. And honestly, I really like the name. I like the product, I like the name even more. So she was saying that she really likes to have hydration. You can feel that this is very hydrating. It's a serum, right? It's a niacinamide serum. It breaks really fast turns very watery actually, and feels really light on the skin. And I think this was a really great kind of product for her to put out for the kind of demographic that she is probably targeting, which is, you know, people who are you know, younger and not giving that hydration, not getting that hydration to their skin. They're probably stripping their skin. So I like that she's doing the opposite of telling people to strip their skin and actually encouraging them to hydrate. You know that I love niacinamide. She very much loves niacinamide. She had niacinamide in the toner that she used. She has niacinamide in here. In fact, more than a peptide serum, I would say that this is a niacinamide serum and just like a really nice hydrating one. You know, glazing fluid, I think what I was expecting with a glazing fluid was that I was gonna have like a layer like I was gonna look really dewy and it does help you saw that I put a lot on because it's so light and it does definitely hydrate your skin and I like the way that it feels but I think I was expecting like boom dewy you know and I didn't get that with this all right so what she's gonna apply next is her moisturizer I'm really excited about it I think this might be my favorite product from her entire line so I'm going to apply the road barrier restore cream um, it's very important to me to keep the barrier healthy and hydrated so a great moisturizer is absolutely key for me and this pairs really well and so beautifully with the peptide glazing fluid it really seals in the moisture and locks everything in aside from just being really like diligent with my skincare routine and taking care of my skin um, I like to see a facialist when um, I have the time. I am sometimes guilty of picking my skin, which I know is like the number one cardinal sin in skincare, but I do my best to let a dermatologist or a, a esthetician, a professional, do any of that for me. And I feel like an, a facial is really good prep for a big event or red carpet, or just a really cleansing facial to just softly exfoliate the skin, get all the gunk out of the skin, um, just a really nice reset. So I try my best to do that once every couple months. I have the moisturizer on. I appreciate that Haley mentioned that she likes to go get a facial because you've heard me say, I don't love when celebrities don't give us full context of what they're doing. She is really young. It's not like she needs to be doing a whole bunch of stuff to her face. We'll never know what she's had done to her, her face unless she actually tells us. So I like to have some kind of context for something when it comes to her skin, right? So it's good to know that she sees an esthetician. Is picking your pimples like the cardinal sin? No, I think it's like stripping your skin, like being too rough. No, it's makeup wipes, isn't it? But yeah, you shouldn't pick your pimples. It's bad for you, you know that. Mostly because it's gonna cause scarring and potentially cause more pimples, so don't do it. I just wanna talk about this moisturizer really quick. It does have some similar ingredients to the peptide glazing fluid. 
Do I feel like they go really well together? I actually do because this is truly just a light hydrating serum. It's like a niacinamide serum, like I said. And this is a really nice moisturizer that happens to have niacinamide in it. It does have some peptides in it, but it also has some really nice, rich emollient ingredients like shea butter and also squalane. I love squalane. She obviously loves squalane. I just feel like this is a really nice moisturizer and it's surprisingly light on the skin. Like for me, I could probably, look at that, look, it's like drying down already. Like I could probably do three more layers of this for my more mature skin and I would be fine because it's so light. But what I really love that she's doing with this, like do you need to get both of these? No, and if I were to tell you to get one, it would be this product right here because I just feel like this is such a nice light moisturizer. What I like that Haley has done so far with Rode is that she's hydrating and moisturizing. She's telling young people, when I say young people, younger than me, in their 20s is what I'm gonna assume, to hydrate their skin, give it some moisture instead of stripping your skin. And I, I really like that. I feel like that's a better way to go. Let's keep going. Uh, on the road too, I like to do my own masking. You know, if I'm having a self-care night, a self-care moment, I love to take a bath. I love to get in with a mask, a little exfoliant, apply my products, um, potentially use like one of those light masks or something. I love the light therapy for the face. I think it's really great. Or I love a gua sha tool, a roller. I love all of the things. So whenever I have the time and I can incorporate it, I I try to. Okay, so last part of my PM routine. This is my very simple every night go-to. I mean, there's times where I might do a little slugging, which tonight I'm not going to, but I might do a little Vaseline or Aquaphor slugging. I don't do it every night because it's a little too much on a daily basis. Last thing I'm gonna go in with is the peptide lip treatment. This is the Rode peptide lip treatment. I can't stand having dry lips and our lips along with the rest of our face and our skin also age and they age very rapidly. So I wanted to make sure this was packed with tons of peptides to help nourish the lips, moisturize the lips, but also for the aging of the lips. So I put on a good juicy layer and this is the salted caramel scent and it's so yummy smelling. So that's it, that's my nighttime skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching, that was so much fun and I hope you guys get your hands on the Rode products and give them a try. I have all three of the lip balms. By the way, the Rode products were sent to me in PR. Thank you so much Rode for sending them. My favorite is the salted caramel also. Mm. It has like a, I don't know, I wanna eat it. <laughs> I like, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, salted caramel might be disgusting. And it's actually amazing. I love it so much. I do love this, the scent of it. You guys know that I love lip balms. This is like a light, it gives a really nice, like glazed look to your lips, but it's surprisingly light. So I like this stuff. So that was Hailey Bieber's nighttime skincare routine. It was simple. Is it a skincare routine that most people could do? Absolutely. For me, I have more mature skin. I like to have a lot more hydration and moisture. I especially have to have a retinoid in my skincare routine. Even if I was using something like this, I would maybe at this point consider still using a retinoid because that's where I'm at. I am in my 40s, right? So to me, it's like, give me all of the things and I'm gonna like, power move, right? Like with my skin and really like test my boundaries and stuff. When you are in your 20s, you do not need to do this, right? Like being more gentle with your skin is really the way to go, not like forcing your skin to go backwards. Whereas, you know, like where I'm at is like there where I'm like maintain, let's at least keep it where it's at if not go like backwards a little bit. So I feel like this is a perfect skincare routine for someone her age. Sure, you could definitely add in something like, you know, a really gentle retinoid, right? Even in your 20s, I actually think that would be a great time to start a retinoid, but she also has perfect skin, right? I see Rode going the direction of kind of like a Glossier 2.0. Like I've done a review of Glossier even. You know, my opinion of Glossier was that it was a little bit younger. It was a lot more fun. They had really great products, but they were, you know, geared for people who already you know, they're not like necessarily fighting what nature has done to them, right? So I feel like this is where I see Road going. It's like a really cool newer version of it. And it's not about stripping your skin. So I'm really curious to see how it's gonna go in the future. Those are my thoughts on it. Road for pretty people. <laughs>
that's where I kind of see road going, but I do love this moisturizer. If you're looking for a really nice moisturizer, but light in texture and not very heavy, then this is the way to go. This is something that I would put on like in the morning time underneath my sunscreen. That's when I would personally use this as a person with dry, mature skin. At night, this wouldn't be my moisturizer, but I do think this is really nice and I think that most people are gonna really like this. I love that Haley is hooked on the double cleanse. I really feel like this message can go very far. I feel like when people like Hailey Bieber are no longer using makeup wipes, they've tossed the makeup wipes, they've moved on to the double cleanse. It's so good. Definitely spread the, the double cleanse word because it's important out there in the skincare world. I feel like she had like a really good skincare routine, especially for her age. It was really like spot on for her. Simple like she said, but spot on, especially since she said she had dry skin. All of the ingredients were spot on. If you're gonna use an exfoliant when you have dry skin, choosing an AHA, especially like lactic acid, perfect. So the only regret I have really is, I wish I would've been able to try that Environ product. If you guys have tried it, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below as well. You can find me on Instagram, I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.